Yo, what's up with it, y'all? It's JD Travel Stenics, and I'm back with another quick video. And today's video is gonna be about that if you're like me, then you're definitely missing traveling. So for me, an alternative to traveling that I can do while I'm still local, still on the island, is just exploring the place that I actually live more and exploring the island of Oahu, exploring Hawaii more, and just trying to take advantage of my free time that I have when I'm actually on island, opposed to free time that I would be spending traveling the world. So before we get into the video, if you're interested in travel, fitness, overall growth content, go ahead and subscribe to the channel. Hit that notification bell so you can get updated every time I drop new content. And now let's get back into the video. And as I stated earlier, I live in Honolulu, Hawaii, which is one of the most beautiful places in the world. And for me, when I'm in Hawaii, I live a fairly simple life. And what I mean by fairly simple life is going to go work out outdoors at the park, uh, checking out new food spots every once in a while with my girl, pretty much staying in the same area. I usually hit up the same beaches on a regular basis. I hit up this beach called uh, Makale Beach sometimes. I hit up Kaimanas, and then sometimes I hit up Waikiki. I usually don't really venture out too much just because all of these beaches that I have that are really local are actually really nice beaches to check out. And they're simple, man. I live a pretty simple lifestyle. But one thing that I will say is that doing the same thing over and over again, although it's still enjoyable, sometimes you do need to step outside of your comfort zone and actually check out some new sites, some new scenes. So for 2021, I've actually been getting out of my comfort zone and I've actually been checking out some new spots on the island. Also been trying out some new activities that I typically don't do. Now I'm not gonna front like I just came up with this idea by myself. Uh, I've had some different circumstances in the beginning of the year that kind of have forced me to get outside of my comfort zone. Uh, one of them is that my girl's cousin actually came to come visit her so they were pretty much moving around the entire island just playing tourists and checking out all these different sightseeing spots checking out different beaches trying different foods things of that nature so i did tag along with them on a few activities and another thing is one of my homeboys came in town from la and i've been pretty much doing the same thing with him he's been wanting to check out north shore west side checking out some of the spots on the east side of the island, which are things that I typically don't do. But since I'm kind of going around the island with him, it's been pretty much a breath of fresh air, it's something new. And it's something that kind of actually rejuvenated me and actually kind of given me something to look forward to doing on a regular basis on the island is checking out different beaches, different hikes, things of that nature. So not only have I been checking out different beaches and different food spots, some of the other things that I've been doing is checking out just different places where there's some dope hikes or different spots where they have some dope views on the island. So one thing I've been doing while checking out all these spots is I've actually been getting some footage while I've been going to these different activities, different spots all over the island. So what I figured I'd do is I'd start a series on different things that you can do in Oahu, different things that you can do in Hawaii and different places that you can go, different food spots that you can try, different hikes that you can go to, some of the different beaches. So I'd like to start off the series with a hike that I just got finished doing this past weekend. Me, my girl, and a few of my friends went on a hike called Kuleo'u, I, I believe was the name of the hike. I'll spell it out. I'm not exactly sure if I'm pronouncing it right, but it was a dope hike. I think the elevation was almost 2,000 feet. I think it was about 1,875 feet, if I can remember correctly. It was about a four hour hike round trip, which was pretty substantial for somebody like me who doesn't really hike too often. It was a difficult hike, but it wasn't too crazy. I've been on some hikes on this island where it gets pretty sketchy and you're like really close to the ledge or there's a super steep incline. I feel like this hike was challenging, but it wasn't to the point where if you're somebody like me who does have a slight fear of heights, that you're not just tripping out, you know what I mean? And you can still get to the top of the, of the ridge and still enjoy a beautiful view because this is actually one of the more beautiful views that you're gonna see on the island. So if you ever come to the island of Oahu, if you ever come to Honolulu, head to East Honolulu and you should check this hike out if you have time or just make time for it. Set aside about five hours because you're gonna, the hike itself takes about four hours round trip, but you're gonna wanna spend some time at the top 
and check out the views, rest, relax, maybe have a snack, maybe hydrate, Bring definitely bring some water with you on this hike or any of these hikes that you do on Oahu. So here's some clips. I've probably been playing some clips as we've been going along, but here's some clips of the hike itself and here's some clips of the views of the hike. Now this is, if you guys live on an island or even if you're not living on an island, you can do similar activities like this. Go out with small groups of people, be in the fresh air outdoors, and it's not necessarily something where you have to worry about being in confined spaces and being worried about being in contact with too many people. I will say that when we were on this hike, the hiking trail was super packed. And when we got to the summit, it was super packed as well because it seemed like a lot of people had the same idea that we had we went on a saturday which was a weekend so of course there's going to be a little bit more of a crowd out there but i mean the main thing is that during this time period where a lot of things are shut down people are on lockdowns i think that we should all be taking more advantage of being in nature enjoying the outdoors and supporting our local businesses Drew, how was it? How was the hike? Fire, man. Slippery as fuck. Yeah. Worth it though. Yeah, no, this is dope ass view up here. This is sick. Ann and Lee want to be the daredevils down here. Is that Coco head up here? Another thing that I've been doing is doing a lot of shopping at, you know, local food spots, checking out new restaurants in town. And I believe in buying local. I believe in supporting small businesses. And one thing you guys know, I do believe in is staying active and staying in tune with nature. And going hiking is one aspect of doing that, along with going to the beach, different other spots like that. But anyways, guys, this is the first episode I'm going to be doing on a series of me going around the island checking out different beaches checking out different food spots checking out different view spots doing different activities and sharing it with you guys since i can't really provide you guys with the travel content that i'd like to provide you with i'm just going to replace it with basically traveling around the island and showing you guys more about the place that i live key how was it too much <laughs> <laughs> worth it though worth it yeah nice no, shit was sick and I strongly suggest that you guys do the same in whatever area that you're at. I know I was talking to one of my homeboys in the Bay this past weekend and him and his girl went out hiking as well. So they've been doing little things like checking out different parts of the Bay area. As you guys know, if you've been watching my channel, I'm from the Bay area originally from the East Bay, Oakland area. And a lot of times you can get stuck staying in that same area as well. A lot of people I know don't leave the East Bay. They don't leave Oakland, Richmond, Berkeley, all these different places. And they don't even venture out to a 30 minute drive over to San Francisco. So no matter what area you're living in across the country or across the world, you can always check out places in your local region. Just step outside of your comfort zone, go to a different neighborhood, go to a regional or a state park, go to the beach, go to the water, go to the mountains, do a hike. Plenty of different activities that you guys can do. And if you guys are willing to spend some money while you're doing some activities, go to a restaurant, go to a local restaurant, go to a small business and support local. But anyways, guys, that's it for today's video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, I'll be dropping more content like this very soon because I've got a bunch of footage from activities I've been doing this past couple weeks in the beginning of the new year. Anyways, guys, I'll holla at you guys later. I hope everybody's having a great day. Peace.